antibiotic, side effect of antibiotic dysbiosis, and how to treat it. Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica with crazy healthy ideas, what you can do to stay healthy. And the conversation today is about the side effect of antibiotic called dysbiosis. We all take antibiotic at some point of our time to deal with infection. Antibiotic is non-specific killer of bacteria and it will do excellent job killing uh, all kinds of bacteria in our ears, nose, eyes, throat, in lungs, and in our digestive tract. Bacteria that lives in digestive tract is essential to our digestion. It will help to break down the food and release nutrients and also will form some kind, many kinds of vitamins that we get, we will absorb from digestive tract and will use in our body to run different chemicals reaction. When bacteria is gone or killed by antibiotic, you become unhealthy. And not only do you have a symptoms of uh, undigestion in digestive tract, you overall become very unhealthy because now not enough vitamins and nutrients that are supposed to be formed by bacteria. You need to repopulate good bacteria in your digestive tract. And today I want to, to show you a probiotic. This is the probiotic that I give to my patients in my practice. It's called Broad Spectrum Probiotic. It has 10 different, 10 different bacteria and 10 billion bugs per one pill. It's a very important um, to uh, understand how many billion bugs per pill and um, that there are many different bacteria in this probiotic. I already said that we have many different kinds of bugs. We need to repopulate it. At this time, this probiotic is the best one because we only can put about 10 different bugs in one pill. So this is the label. When you look at the label, you count different bugs that in this probiotic. And I will read few of them for you. Number one. Lactobacillus acidophilus, number two, bifidum bifidum, number three, bifidum braver, and you read them and you count ten. This is the best probiotic so far on the market. So the goal to take probiotic is to repopulate digestive tract with good bacteria. Now question is, when can you take it? The answer is the best time to take it after you take antibiotic. So, and you take it for months or two, just finish the bottle and be done with that. However, sometimes patients call me and they ask, I have a severe undigestion, bloating and constipation when I'm take, taking antibiotic. Can I take probiotic now? And the answer is yes. You can take it, antibiotic will kill it. However, in the time when you are not taking antibiotic, you can still have a benefit of the probiotic. So suppose you take antibiotic at 12 noon and it at midnight. The time to take probiotic, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So at the time when the concentration of antibiotic is not very high. So probiotic to repopulate digestive tract. That's it for today, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Give me thumbs up if you like it. Ask me questions. I'm here to answer them. Thank you very much. Stay healthy. 